try beforehand, you went to sleep too late, or if you're waking up two or three or four times to go to the bathroom, maybe the TV was on, then you're going to wake up even earlier feeling like you're completely awake because the body's been shooting adrenaline into your body, fake energy, just to compensate for the fact that you're not even sleeping. So at home, your room should be completely dark. It should be cool. The room should always be cold. I don't know how many of you sleep with a sweltering hot room. Any of you? That's good, because only the head should be cold. I know all the patients in the sleep lab, they all sweat extremely heavily, even the toddlers. We get from two years old, the youngest I think I've done is three months old, up to 90. So if you don't get good sleep, uh, physically recovering is very difficult. Let's say you have cancer, you have an injury, it takes much longer to heal, because you heal when you sleep. You commit things to memory when you sleep. A lot of people who are sleep deprived, they have the worst memories. Your mood is absolutely affected. You have anxiety, depression, you're extremely cranky. To see sleep text at night, you would see the waves and change of sleep deprivation because we're all up all night. We're all technically sleep deprived. So one minute we're happy, the next minute we're angry, the next minute we're quiet, we're cold, and then we're hungry. You can see the levels changing from sleep deprivation, which most people feel during the day. They feel constantly hungry. They feel like they're depressed. They have high anxiety. Little motivation is also a huge one. And they fall asleep all day, specifically in front of the TV, on a couch. 